Hi, I'm Angie Izzy. I'm an industry strategy manager here at Autodesk, and I am actually here at Autodesk University 2012 in Las Vegas, um, and I'm here with Tom Bellaro. Uh, we recently were part of an exciting team here at Autodesk for the new iPad app called Formit. Um, tell us a little bit about what you do at Autodesk. Yeah, thanks, Angie. So I'm an interaction designer, and what that means is I spend a lot of time working with customers to understand their workflows and their requirements, and then we take that back, and I work with the developers, and I design the products so that the developers can create them and craft them so that they're you know usable and meet their needs. Great. So um, we've had a lot of buzz about Formit here at Autodesk University. Lots of tweeting going on. And very exciting product, and we're going to talk a little bit about the product today. So um, let's share with our audience out there what Formit is. Sure. So Formit is the first architectural form maker for the iPad. So what that means is that you can actually work in 3D on the iPad to create massing models um, that work into your building design. Great. So um, who is it for? So we've mainly been uh, looking at design architects um, who are going to work you know, in the early stage of design and that want to be able to work um, on the mobile device, sketch out basic um, designs, and then bring that into their BIM workflow. Great. So um, how did this idea come about? Seems like an interesting idea. Yeah, so about a year ago, um, we were working on our other product that our team does, which is uh, Vasari, which is the desktop design and an analysis tool. And we were working with a lot of our customers, and we noticed like while we were talking to them, that a lot of them are using iPads to do 2D sketching and painting, and then sharing those sketches with their colleagues um, through the web. And we thought, you know, why hasn't anyone taken this idea into 3D? yet. So we said, let's try it. And uh, fast forward a year, <laughs> a year later, and now we have Formit. So where can people get it? How much does it cost? Yeah, so it's available. We launched this week at AU. Uh, it's on the Apple App Store, so you get it. It's for uh, iPad only, and it's free. It's right. good news. Free. That's always nice. So um, what's the difference in, you know, when working on, you've been working on a lot of desktop applications um, at Autodesk. So what's the difference in working on iPad apps versus desktop apps? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, uh, the, the best thing is that it's been, you know, pretty fast and we've been able to iterate really quickly. So um, we've been able, you know, I'm working with a great team and I'll come up with ideas, um, talk to the developers, they'll give me a build like that day. I can look at it. I've been able to do usability testing with customers with those early builds, then go back to them and they'll be able to like really quickly give me a new build, try it out. It's been really, really fast and, and really great. So can you give us a demo? Yeah, absolutely. We'd love to see it. Yeah, I'd love to. Um, so this is Formit. So this is the first kind of view you get as your gallery. So this is a lot of the stuff that I've been doing. And I have to say I'm biased, but I've been having a lot of fun with it, um, just kind of making all different kinds of different kinds of buildings and forms. Um, yeah, I saw some of your buildings in this week. They've been really cool. Yeah, and so I have some others from some of our other staff. Like this is one of our uh, developers made his house, and I've been playing around with modern architecture and classic architecture, um, just to kind of show the kind of w wide variety of, of different um, forms that you can actually do with this app. Um, so let's, uh, let's do kind of something that we were, um, we had some fun with yesterday, which is we're going to look at a little design project where we have happen to be now, which is the Mandalay Bay. So the first thing that's important to differentiate about what we're doing with Formit is that it is a uh, building maker, right? So it's very focused on building design. So the first thing is you can set your location in the world. So if I click the map button, I get um, a map interface where I can actually choose my location. Now it, it defaults to where we are now, which is uh, Las Vegas. So we're going to do that. Import. I've imported the site image. And I've also sketched out part of the site, which is the uh, Mandalay Bay Hotel Tower. Let's see here. Okay. Okay. So I've uh, I've kind of sketched out the tower, and now what I want to do is I want to start sketching um, uh, a little bit of an addition to the tower. So I'm using a stylus, but you can obviously use your hands. I, I just I like to use the stylus. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start using the line tool, and actually start sketching out a little bit of a footprint here of a little addition that we're going to be doing. Okay, and I bring that up. 
So it's easy as that. I can kind of sketch lines, extrude them, um, and I can even start to push and pull them. I can, um, you know, cut the face here, push this in. So you can see it's, it's not a lot of user interface in my way. I'm just kind of interacting directly with the model, which is one of our goals for this, was to make it, you know, really intuitive and fast and fun, actually, to just sort of, um, you know, kind of push the geometry around a little bit. So you'll notice also in the top left, this little orange graph. And what this is telling me is not only am I creating form here, but I'm also keeping track of how much space, uh, how much square footage this form is taking up so that I can keep track against a target that we have for the project. So my target area is 750,000 square feet. And I know my site area footprint is 25,000 square feet. So as I work, it keeps track of not only how much space this is using, but also what my floor to area ratio is. So you, you're really starting to get actually an intelligent building model on the iPad. Um, so it's, you know, kind of a little experiment with this more. You can also um, do things like Booleans. So I can, um, I can kind of select this object and cut away this little corner there. Um, so you know, you can you can start to you can start to see where you can get you know, quite a wide variety of forms here. Um, okay, so then you know, the next thing is well, now let's take a look at how the shadows are going to impact my site. So since I've set the location to be um, Las Vegas, I go into my shadow study tool, and then I can actually start to take a look at actually how the sun is going to impact the site at different parts of the year. So fall, summer and spring, and then actually during the day. So I can, I can kind of see, okay, I'm on the south side of this building, I'm gonna actually have quite a bit of sun, which could be good or bad, depending on the goal of the project. Okay, so um, the kind of final thing is, which is the other really big differentiator for us, is that we're connected to Autodesk 360. So when I go back to the gallery, all my stuff is synchronized to my Autodesk 360 account. And what that means is we get an, um, an SAT file, which is a solid uh, modeling file that I can bring into Revit um, or Vasari or AutoCAD or any, any of our apps that support Oh, great. So downstream, huh? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so what you can do, um, I can show you, is while that's, um, I brought this model downstream, I've, I've um, opened it up in Vasari. And so if, for those of you who don't know what Vasari is, um, is a, uh, it's currently in beta. And it is a conceptual form making and um, analysis tool, early analysis tool for the desktop that's fully compatible with the Revit ecosystem. Um, so we just released actually a beta two, our second beta of this today, also at AU. And um, th what, what's different about this uh, beta, one of the features is that I can, it synchronizes all of my Autodesk 360 files locally. So now when I create my models and form it, I can actually open them in Vasari and do further analysis. So for instance, I can do, uh, for those of you who haven't seen this before, um, I can do solar um, analysis. So I can, I can look at um, the impact of the sun. So I'm, I'm kind of doing further analysis. Before on format, I was looking at shadows. Now I'm looking at actual solar insulation. Um, and I can even look at the impact of wind um, also on this on this site, so you can start to see where we're kind of, kind of trying to build up an ecosystem of products where we can have, you know, fast sketching, 3D modeling on the iPad, but then downstream into the, our desktop apps to do further detailed analysis. So, you don't really have to know Revit to do this, right? No, and that's a, that's you know actually kind of a good thing because some of the senior designers we worked with or say you know, they, they played around with it, but they're a little bit uncomfortable. This way, they can actually participate in the design process more than just sketching out on, you know, a napkin and handing it to an intern or a, a junior designer. They can actually, you know, actually sketch out their ideas in 3D and then participate in the BIM process. I think that's great. It makes them feel a lot more connected. Yeah. So Vasari, um, you can get it at um, autodeskvasari.com. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. You can go there and you can download the beta today. Great. Mm -hmm.
Great. Well, um, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, if you're interested in downloading the app, we would love for you to download it at the Apple App Store. It's called Autodesk Format. And uh, it's been really um, active here at the show about Format. We'd love to, to hear your ideas back. So you can also go to autodeskformat.com um, on our blog and, uh, and give us some, you know, we'd love to see your models. And uh, thank you again for joining us here at Autodesk University. We look forward to seeing you on our next FaceCast. All right, thanks. Thank you.